Welcome to The Honest Media. Today is Thursday, January 18th, 2017. I'm your host, Tom Pappert, of course, joined by Craig Chrysler. Uh, there's a lot to talk about this week. We have Trump's fake news awards. We have all kinds of things happening with the media, with the GOP, uh, where there may be a government shutdown on the horizon. But first, we do have a special guest this week. We have uh, uh, somebody actually from Libertarian presidential candidate Adam Kokesh's uh, political team. We have Angela Fisher Owens. And if uh, for those not in the loop, Adam was arrested uh, just the other day in Texas. We're going to let Angela tell us a little bit more about exactly what's going on with Adam right now. Hi, thanks for having me on. I appreciate being able to get any, any of this information out there as much as possible. So a couple of days ago, Adam was driving through Texas and he was pulled over for having an expired paper plate, having not yet received the actual physical plate sure. to put on to an RV. And the officer was, was kind and interested. They chatted about marinisms, and he was issued a warning and sent on his way. Okay. About 40 minutes after, just before he was going to reach the state border into Oklahoma, he was again pulled over with uh, very little explanation. They said that they pulled him over for speeding nine miles over the posted speed limit. Uh. But honestly, they they apparently changed the speed limit at that particular spot on the highway um, because he would have been one under had they not. So there's some debate there. And they tried to pull him out of the RV for a routine speeding stop. And Adam was, you know, very cautious of where this was going. Right. They eventually uh, forced him out of the RV, and three new police officers showed up again for a routine speeding stop, and then shortly thereafter, a new police officer with the canine unit showed up, and they walked the canine unit around the RV. All of this is being videotaped by right. Adam who was traveling alone, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So yeah. now my, my question is, you know, there was a lot of rumors. Was this at all drug related? Did they find drugs? You know, I want to make sure we get this information out there because a lot of people on the internet are saying that he was, that that is the real reason he was arrested. Is that true? So they have four charges. Okay. There was no visible mark of the canine unit. So I'm not inclined to necessarily believe it. And Adam contends that there was no contraband okay. available. So they have two charges with one was a schedule one, one is a schedule two, one is marijuana okay. and a tampering with evidence charge. And I think it's pretty obvious from the video that he was exceptionally cognizant of what he was allowed to do and what he wasn't allowed to do and not pushing any limits. So I have, and also at this point, Adam hasn't been provided with any evidence of charges, any paperwork, nothing regarding why they took him. So we have the internet, we can see what the charges are, but he doesn't have any information and hasn't been provided anything other than what we've told him from what we can gather outside of the jail. Okay, and we have a statement from Adam actually that you were kind enough to send me. I'll go ahead and read some of that now for people uh, sitting at home. Uh, what has occurred to me in the last 24 hours was a gross miscarriage of justice. I have not been presented with any paperwork regarding my arrest. In court, I was denied my request to receive it. The criminal officers who are guilty of an unlawful arrest will be held accountable. It is a sign of strength of the freedom movement that the government is resorting to such drastic tactics to keep libertarians out of the debate. Thank you to everyone who offered or pledged support. Thank you for all the calls and the prayers and the love you sent. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of you who, who fight the tyranny of government. And of course, for those playing at home, Adam Kokesh is running uh, for the libertarian ticket to be uh, uh, for president in 2020. He's already started his campaign and he is running on the platform of the peaceful dissolution of the federal government. Um, Angela, I wonder if you could tell us um, what is the latest from Adam that you have as of this morning? As of this morning, he still hasn't had a, an official hearing of any kind. They were they had us scheduled this morning at 8.30 and then turned us down at the door, and that wow. was to negotiate bail. They did set a bail, and it's 76500 
Okay. Um, we want to obviously negotiate that down, considering they haven't provided any information or evidence that they're even going to continue to file charges. Right. So, uh, anyway, they turned us down, so that that's where we are today. We're hoping to be able to get another date on their calendar. Okay, and so what exact what you were telling me earlier that Adam, uh, you know, he is an unconventional person. He uh, is uh, currently running for president, traveling the country in an RV. You know, it's very he is an unconventional person. How is he handling this arrest from a legal perspective? He's got a. There's a few different things, but I'm I'm going to share something with you that we haven't yet told anyone. Okay. Adam is very. He's very un unhappy. He believes this is a truly unlawful arrest. His words to me this morning were, we will not negotiate with terrorists. Let's take the bail money that they want me to pay and give it to the, the Libertarian Party as a donation. Wow. So that's talking, you said it was 76000 Of course, you need 10% of that. So we're talking almost $10,000 that instead of uh, giving to the state of Texas, Adam wants to give that directly to the Libertarian Party. Correct. Wow. That is, uh, that is a bold gamble. So I wonder, I don't want to take too much more of your time. I know you're obviously busy coordinating the response to this. Um, what has, are you down on the ground in Texas now? No, actually, Ben Farmer is down on the ground, and unless... This escalates even further. I probably won't be. Okay, which uh, hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully you can stay exactly where you are, at where you are, and Adam can get out. Um, I, I just wonder what is the feeling? What it, what is the feeling there on the ground? Does it seem like this is all uh, trumped up charges? Does it seem like they have a vendetta against Adam? What is your perspective on this? Yeah, actually, and there was a rally this morning. That probably still is it still happening um, from. 10.30 to 1.30, a group of people on their own went to the courthouse to demand that he be released. Wow. He are probably still there. There are, I mean, it's, it's a nationwide outcry to release him or Absolutely. hashtag finally free Adam. Right, right, right. Well, I want to give you the, uh, the, our final moment here. We've got about a minute left. Tell our viewers what they can do to help, how they can get involved, where they can go for information. Okay, so the freedomline.com is where we are posting every piece of current and relevant information as the story progresses. And all you have to do is pop on the freedomline.com and it will give you everywhere we need people to be, what we need help with, um, and all of the regular updates. Excellent. So that is thefreedomline.com. If you Google that, it should pop up. You can also find, of course, Adam's book, all kinds of good information about him. Well, thank you so much, Angela, for coming on the show. And I really hope from the bottom of my heart that Adam is able to be freed and uh, can put this on uh, yet another chapter of his uh, uh, dealings with the state behind him. Absolutely. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. We'll be right back after this break. You're watching The Honest Media.